Okay, this little tutorial is just going to show you how to set up a preferences page similar to this in Flowdesk. And what this does is allow you to manage your email relationship with your subscribers in a way that lets them choose which content that they want to receive instead of just unsubscribing from your entire list. So what this looks like is if you've sent an email to your list down at the bottom, you're going to see unsubscribe or manage preferences. Now, if you look at an email that you've sent and it only says unsubscribe, that means you haven't set up this preference page at all, but it's also possible that you have it set up, but it's just going to a generic page and it's not actually doing anything that's probably like beneficial to your segment. So what we want to do is create a customized page that makes sense for your business, your audience, who you're trying to reach, who you're trying to communicate with and kind of customize what that experience is like for them. So to do that, you're going to go into Flowdesk. You're going to click on your icon up here, go to opt-in setup. And then underneath the opt-in setup, you'll see these different options for the emails that you can customize. So like your double opt-in, your thank you page, and then the preferences page. So you're just going to click on that. And this is where you'll set it up. So this is how you can control what that customer will see if they click that they want to unsubscribe or manage their preferences. And like I said, this just gives them an option because if they hit unsubscribe, so like if I get an email from you and I'm like, oh, I'm sick of hearing from her every Friday, her <laughs> weekly page newsletter is so annoying, but I would love to know if she is launching a course or a new planner, whatever. If the only option they have here is unsubscribe, they might think that they're unsubscribing just from my Friday newsletter, but it's actually going to remove them from my entire system. So I can't reach out to them if I'm launching a course. I can't let them know about my new planner. It's going to remove them entirely. But when they have the manage preferences option, they can click on that, get to this page that we're editing here, and they can choose like, I only want to hear from you if you have a new product. I only want your weekly newsletter. Like, don't reach out to me if you're selling something. I only want free stuff. So like, don't send me your newsletter. Don't tell me about your new product. Like if you have a free design, that's all I want. <laughs> and then they can also change what their name is and stuff like that. So this is really simple. If you're familiar at all with Flowdesk, it's really similar to setting up anything in your emails. You literally just click over here and add or remove the options. And each option is going to have a segment associated with it. So you can see for this one, I have a segment called, I only want to hear about courses. And then just really quickly to show you once you have this set up, like how it can be put into action would be when I'm sending. So the next time I go to send my weekly page newsletter, you can see that I have included that segment that says they only want to receive the weekly page. And I've excluded segments of people that are saying, I only want your free stuff and I only want new products. Um, so that's just kind of one example of how you can have it set up. But if you're somebody who offers, let's say, wedding photography, and also web design services, you could have options here that's like, I only want to hear about wedding photography news, or I only want to hear about when you're talking about web design topics. So you can kind of see how you can adjust it to work for whatever your business looks like. Um, but hopefully that's helpful. And like I said, a lot of people don't have this set up and I've noticed it. So it might be something you want to just take a few minutes and set up for your business.